G'day, today we're gonna to talk about something that's really, really important, which is how to manage your time effectively. Because when you're in business, time is really your most important asset. And look, we're all busy, and you know, in this internet age, everything seems to happen at once. There's absolutely no break. It's just piling in on top of you. And the thing is that everything demands our attention right now. So in other words, everything is important and urgent. Got to do it right now. Beep, beep, beep. Otherwise, the bloody beep is just going to keep on going. And because we're so busy, we don't get a chance to separate what is urgent from what is important. Now, you know, there's an old Australian saying, which is that when you're up to your arse and alligators, it's very hard to think about draining the swamp. And that's exactly what happens. We've just got so many things snapping for our attention that the last thing we can do is figure out what the bigger picture is and then try and get to be a little bit more efficient. So if you want to be a bit more efficient with your time, the most important thing is to categorize the things that are demanding your attention. Now I'm going to introduce you to two ways to do that, which are going to give you huge freedom of time once you get a little bit used to using them. And there's a little bit of work to do, but uh, we can help you with that. The first one is a process called Moscow, which you might have heard me talk about before. The M stands for must do, the O is small, the S stands for should do, the C stands for could do, another little O, and then the W stands for want to do. Okay, so here's what you do. You create a word table with four columns and four cells down the page. And you label the columns category, issue, by when, and what else. And then the cells in the column should be must do, should do, could do, want to do, right? And then below that table on the same page, then just use bullet points and make a list of everything that you need to do. And look, don't worry about the order, just data dump, just get it all down there. Now the next thing to do is where it gets a little tricky. This is where you go through the list and you pick out the must-dos. It's a little hard at first, but you need to be tough, okay? Because this is how you're going to be prioritizing and organizing yourself. Now that's where the second tool called the Eisenhower Principle will actually help you to decide because what you want are the important and urgent things, all right? And here's a little thing to help you out. Don't have any more than five at any one time. If you have more than five, you're just gonna overwhelm yourself. Just have five things maximum on your list and you get a really good sense at the end of the day, oh boy, I've knocked those ones off so I can put another five on. Okay, so in going back into your table, then you pick these five important and urgent things and then you describe what it is you need to achieve you put a time and a date by when it needs to be done. So in other words, you're taking it from up here, like something really scary, down onto the page. So it's, oh, okay, by that date. And also the other things in the next, in the next column, where it's the what else column, this is where you put in whatever else you need to do before you can complete the task. You might need to get some more information. You might have to fix another problem first, or it might have to involve somebody else in it, okay? Because quite a lot of the times, the reason why these things are so hard to fix is it's not all up to you. You've got to you know, mess around and get other stuff. Then you add the other items from the list into the table in the appropriate places <coughs> using the Eisenhower principle table. It is okay to say to yourself, I want to do this, but I don't have to do it right now. So that goes in the W column. And then another really useful thing that somebody taught me years ago is to say to yourself, what if I actually never did this? Would the sky fall on my head? Would anybody notice? Would it have any downside? Or am I just doing this out of habit? And you know, you'd be amazed the number of things that you're doing that you probably actually don't need to be doing. Okay, so now you've got these two tables. You've got the Moscow table and you've got the Eisenhower principle table. And so once you get used to doing it, you'll actually speed up quite quickly, especially if you review your list daily. Keep adding things to the long list and move things around in the table as you complete your must-dos. Remember, only five must-dos at any time. So don't forget to like this video, it'll help support the channel and if there's anything you'd like for me to talk about, drop it in the comments below and click subscribe to get notified every time we upload so you don't miss any of our videos. I'll see you in the next video and I'll catch you later.